yard line. Set to go from the Orange Bowl, Miami and Maryland. Covington driven deep in the end zone, lets it go. Stan Gelbaugh at quarterback. But Donick and Alvin Blount are the running backs split behind him. Miami jumps, but no flag. Long signal count by Gelbaugh. This is Blount trying to get outside, and he's tripped up. Offense for Maryland. Gelbaugh, of course, has taken over for Frank Reich. Neal is excellent, over 400 yards running. But Donick is the touchdown guy. Hill, the leading receiver. Edmonds, watch him, the tight end. He's a freshman, and he's tough. Offensive line, they'll get a test. That three down lineman of Miami, probably the best they've faced all year. Blount came out to start number 33 instead of Neal 48, but they're virtually interchangeable, almost identical statistics. Second down, call a 10. They'll give it to Badonic, gets off one tackler, and then is stopped. He's a defending national champion, and uh, everyone remembers that historic game against Nebraska. They declined the penalty, so it'll be third down and six. But, uh, Fagan is the guy to watch when you just saw the defensive line. He's an outstanding player. Fleming is the leading tackler on the team. And this is probably the best secondary that Maryland has faced. Third down, six yards to go. Maryland at its own, 34. Opening minutes, first quarter, and Gelbaugh to throw. Draw, Badonic. Forget it. Badonic's buried. Right with some pressure. Got it out. Low line drive kick. Takes a bounce and a good roll for Maryland. And the Terps are down there to cover it inside the 20, all the way down to the 18-yard line. If Kozar has them in the eye and then splits Darrell Oliver, number 37, to a wing. This is a wide-open offense. They'll throw everything at you. Highsmith, first carry, room off the right side, runs over Stanley Shakespeare. Let's take a look at the offense here. Kozar, you know him. <laughs> there you go. Highsmith is in That's the how game. how fast they run. Offensive line, excellent. Sinclair is a super center. Heffernan's an excellent blocker for this team. They can move people out. No gain on the play for Highsmith after it looked like he had some running room. The blitz is on. Kozar to throw. Under pressure, sort of side arms it. It's incomplete. Good Third job down. by Maryland. Third down and 10. Kozar within 75 yards of breaking about the only record he already doesn't hold for Miami, and that is career yardage. Plenty of time this time. Throws complete to his tight end, Smith, but he's going to be shy of the first down. Maryland defense, you're going to see a lot of changes here. Shankweiler and Kelly will probably be replaced off and on all day because they'll be changed for defensive backs. The interior of that line has got to get pressure. Two great inside linebackers, Fawcett and Wilson. Kevin, my mistake, it was, uh, it was a first down. Smith did get enough. Eric Wilson, the linebacker number 55, sneaking up like he's going to blitz if Kozar throws, but he won't. They'll give it off. And it's Daryl Oliver, the halfback. Here's the secondary, Covington, Gunderman, and Covington. The Covington's obviously brothers. Second down, call it a long five. Miami with the ball outside its own 33-yard line. Kozar, only a sophomore, could end up being one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played this game. Kozar brings them out. Has Shakespeare to the near side, Brown to the far side as his wide receivers, and goes straight back. Time to throw and complete, and that's Highsmith at Miami, first and 10 in its own 42. It's the Canes' first possession. Highsmith, number 30. The remaining setback, Oliver is on a wing, and Highsmith goes straight up the middle. Mester, number 83. As good as uh, the other receivers are, Highsmith, the only Hurricane receiver with a catch in every ball game. There's the pass to the tight end. Both of these teams averaging more than 430 yards a game in offense. They'll give it off to Melvin Bratton, the freshman running back. A lot of people felt that if he had been a senior last year, he'd have been a shoe-in for the Heisman Trophy. Of course, he was only a freshman. Kozar to throw, sideline, incomplete, out of bounds. That was Charles Henry going out of bounds with the ball. Third and short, Miami will try to get the first down behind Kozar. Remember Kozar's height. They'll give it off. First down from Melvin Bratton. Kozar with a single back behind him. Maryland coming on the blitz. Kozar with time to throw and completes it to Willie Smith. Kozar to throw again on second and about eight over the middle low. Third down, call it six. 6.29 to go first quarter. We have no score in the Orange Bowl from Miami. Kozar to throw, gives it the pump. Now he wants to throw the screen, complete to Highsmith. Highsmith. Bombed out of bounds to first down for the Hurricanes. They have the ball at the Maryland 16. It has been a long, very controlled drive. Highsmith again to the 11-yard line, a gain of five. Second down, five yards to go after Highsmith got to the 11. 
He is the remaining back. Maryland showing blitz, and Highsmith goes straight up the middle. He's got a first down inside the five near the three-yard line. Highsmith has nine touchdowns on the ground. Kozar apparently changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's very good at that. Gives to Highsmith. Got to maybe the two-yard line. Second down and goal now at the two. Same formation. Once again, it looks like Kozar changing the play. And he'll give to Highsmith. They'll try the right side this time. And Maryland stacked it up. Kozar, quarterback sneak. Looked like he got it, and now the signal is he did. Touchdown, Miami. Well, the only thing better than having a six foot five quarterback is having a six foot eight quarterback. And they're throwing oranges. They're ready to come back here on New Year's Day. Nothing. And does. Three minutes, 51 seconds to go in the first quarter. Our score at the Orange Bowl is Miami 7 and Maryland nothing. Very impressive first drive. Kozar's number. Oh, then what does that mean? Maryland better have his number sooner or later. Keita Covington three yards deep. Thought about bringing it out, decided not to. Gelbaugh with Blount now dropping back in the eye behind Rick Badonik. And they'll give it to Badonik up the middle, and Badonik will get maybe two. Crowd really getting into the ball game here, and Stan Gelbaugh back to throw. There's that pattern. He completes it to Greg Hill, and Hill is flattened. Holder is in motion for Maryland. They'll pitch it that side to Blount. Blount cuts back and dove to the 30-yard line. That's the wide side of the field here. They've got two speedsters out here. And Gelbaugh wants to throw on first down. He'll throw it to Blount short on the screen. Blount caught from behind. It's a decent yard. It's a gain of five, second and five. Gelbaugh to throw again out to Hill. Hill does not get away. It is a first down for Maryland. The Terps with their second first down of the ballgame at the own 42. Gelbaugh to throw again. Quick out this time, and it's incomplete. They do have the speed to get deep, however. And now a little movement on the Maryland offensive line. We have offensive movement against the offensive line. We have delayed contact against the defense. We offset them. We're still playing oh. second down. Second down, <laughs> 10 yards to go. Maryland at its own 42. That was Holder in motion. This is Blount. Cuts back inside a block. Picks up a couple. Just like to run away from him. That time they used misdirection to run back toward him. Gelbaugh with a play action fake. Throwing on the run. Complete to Badonik and he dropped it. Gets this one off, a nice high floater, and Brown signals for the fair catch, and once again, Kozar, little play action. Throws a screen, and it's complete to Melvin Bratton, and the freshman dumped. It, it makes it real tough on the defense. Gain of eight, we'll be back after we finish the first quarter. The Canes are on top, seven to nothing. Highsmith, the lone remaining back, Bratton is on a wing. Shakespeare and Brown, the wide receivers, four-man rush, deep pass over the middle, and it's Bratton. Bratton gets away from Gunderman, and then Covington has to run him down at the 16-yard line. In less than two full seasons. You don't think this young man can throw the football? Back to toss it again, floats it. Another beautiful pass to the sideline. We have pass interference. It was a spot foul against the defense. The ball will be on the seven yard line instead of the two yard line. It was less than 15 yards. Brown the wide receiver to the left or to the right. Shakespeare to the right. They throw in the end zone complete to the tight end Willie Smith. There is a flag down in the Miami backfield. And it is. The touchdown will stand. Uh, 205. Cox on for the point after and he has it. And Miami has gone up 14 to nothing on Maryland. And Kevin, we mentioned this earlier, might take the Terps out of their game plan. And here is Miami lining up with nine men on the left side of the field. They are going to try the onside kick, and Maryland has it. And this one could have broken for a big play. Terps have had a couple of first downs, but not much more. And have not thrown the ball upfield. Gelbaugh, a little misdirection again, gives to Badonik. Badonik trying to get outside and has no luck. Second down, nine yards to go. Gelbaugh to throw. Straight four-man rush. Plenty of time and dumps it short over the middle to Hill. Hill rolled out of bounds. It's third down, four yards to go from midfield. Rauf is in motion. Gelbaugh fakes the toss. Throws sideline. Great try by Hill. Couldn't hold it. Six to go in the half, and it's the Hurricanes on top, 14-0. 
right a high floating short kick and Brown makes a tough fair catch first and ten let's see if the Maryland defense can do anything with Bernie Kozar and company for a change they'll start from the 14 yard line this time Eric Wilson threatening a blitz they'll give it on the draw to Highsmith got away from one tackle and then a stacked up loose football and it's Maryland's ball and that was an excellent call. Stan Gelbaugh sends Eric Holder in motion to the top of your screen and gives it to Badonic straight up the middle. Badonic will get about four, almost five. On second down and six. Well, Badonic. Holder goes in motion again. Gelbaugh to throw. Dumps it short over the middle, complete to Holder, and Holder is down to the six-yard line. Everybody stacked near the near hash mark. Rodgers in motion, but Donick dives. First down, got to the four. First and goal, Maryland. Same formation. They'll send Walker in motion. Now back to the near side. Give it to Badonic again, and he dives to the one. Ball. It's spotted closer to the two than it is the one. Badonic again dives, and this time... Fleming in midair, third down and goal at the one. Walker will now go in motion. Badonic right side. No, sir. Not even with second effort. One wide receiver. Gelbaugh fakes. Can't find anyone now. Throws complete. Oh, he dropped. Ron Fazio wide open, and he dropped the football. Holy cow. So the Hurricanes with a big break. They take over at their own two-yard line. They've dodged a bullet. Bratton in motion. They'll give it to Highsmith. He'll get just about two. He would need about 137 in this ball game and the next combined to reach the 1,000-yard mark. Cuts it outside. Cuts back Covington. And Covington both miss him. And Highsmith driven out of bounds, but not before he got to the 17. They've got Daryl Oliver, 37, to Melvin Bratton, number five, the running backs. Kozar back to throw under some pressure. Eddie Brown right through his hands. Second and 10 for Miami. They'll give it to Bratton straight up the middle. And Bratton out to the 27-yard line. 7.08 to go. First half. 14 0 Miami. Blitz. Kozar sidearms it to Willie Smith across the 40 to the 42. First and 10 Miami at the Canes 41-yard line. High Smith back in at fullback along with Oliver. Kozar floats it. This one was tipped. And they've had some guys that can run and go get it in this program. Three-man rush for Maryland. Kozar with all the time in the world. Now Mester had him, missed him. Sidearms it back to the other side, complete to Oliver. We have a personal foul against number, against the defense. We're playing first down. I got to go along with you on that one. And once you get out of that pocket, you give up a lot of your protection. This is Oliver, fumble. There is a flag down. We have holding against the offense. Still playing first down. Brown and Shakespeare, the wide receivers. Split right and left, respectively. Four-man rush. Kozar wants to throw the screen to Oliver. That's holding. And Oliver, five minutes, ten seconds to go. First half, second and 15. Hurricanes, Kozar straight back. Good protection over the middle, and wide open is Smith again. Already leading 14 and other. They have not been stopped by Maryland on any drive. Only their own fumble stopped the drive earlier. Kozar dumps it off. Oliver hit by Wilson and Kraus. Second down and two for Miami, just outside the Maryland 10. Highsmith and Oliver are the backs. Kozar wants to throw. Throws to Willie Smith, is tight end, and he beats Kelly into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Cox is on and sets his own school record, or breaks his own school record, rather. He has kicked 33 consecutive points after touchdown for the Hurricanes. Kozar now with 168 yards passing. There's Keita Covington. He is deep to receive, and Maryland desperately needs to get something started on offense. High short kick. Covington will take the ball to the 13-yard line. Gets across the 20, hurdles a couple of bodies, and a nice return by Covington. They've had three of them. Gelba back to throw against a three-man rush. Throws short of Eric Holder, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go for Maryland. Gelba has had a tough first half. Quick out again, this time complete to Abdur Raouf, but he was on one knee when he caught it. Chris made a new friend down there. 
He's flirting again. 3.04 to go. Gelbaugh to throw on third down, and it's blocked. Eight, averaging just a shade under 40 yards. A kick comes on. Booms this one, and Eddie Brown is going to have to chase it. And the way the first half has gone, naturally it bounces into the Miami end zone. Miami takes over at its own 20. It's about the best field position they've had this ball game. Kozar under pressure, throws sideline, incomplete. Linebacker. But Kenny Dunk. And Jim Kelly. And they'll try to give it off to Bratton. Bratton slips a couple of tackles after almost uh, messing up on the exchange. Third and three for Miami. The Canes at their own 27-yard line. Little pass in the flat, complete to Bratton. Eric Wilson wraps him up, but down before he got to the 36-yard line. Quickly over the middle, complete again to Smith. Smith flattened with a body block. Clock stops for the first down with 2.09 to go in the half. Miami continues to run its hurry-up offense. And Shakespeare, I don't believe, a great receiver, has yet to catch a pass in this ballgame. He's the only one that's been shut down by Maryland. And here's the pass again to Smith. This Back to throw, Kozar again. Sidearms it to the sideline, almost picked off. Are on 17 out of 24. Third and two right here, they'll run the ball, trying to get the first down, and Bratton has it. Fawcett drags him down. To Kozar on first and 10. Four-man rush, no pressure at all. Dumps it over the middle, incomplete. Second down and 10. Kozar has the back split behind him. Messner got to him this time, and the pass is floated to the sideline. Third down, 10. Maryland desperately needing to stop Miami right here. They can't let him score again before the end of the half. Kozar floats it for Williams, incomplete. For Miami, he is 11 out of 14 this year. Been an excellent find as a kicker. This one's got the distance, and it's true. So Greg Cox with a minute three to go in the first half adds insult to injury as Miami goes up 24 to nothing over the University of Maryland. The Terps down 24 nothing, 103 to go in the half. And they'll squib kick this one. Picked up by one of the up men at the 25. Back to the 33. Th Maryland with plenty of time. One timeout left. They'd like to get on the board. Gelba. It's going to be a screen, but took an awful long time to be set up. 52 seconds left, second and 10. Miami showing a three-man rush. And they'll drop back eight in the coverage. Gelba over the middle. Too high. Intercepted. Picked off by Reggie Sutton. Sutton at the 30. Out of bounds. Inside the Maryland 30 at the 29. And the Hurricanes going for more from the Maryland 30. Kozar straight back. Dumps it over the middle. Bratton wide open. He's down to the one-yard line. Got close, but he didn't make it. Stopped inside the one. Second and goal. Kozar, quarterback keeper. I don't think so. Joke. This is third and goal. Kozar, play action fake. Oh. Well, Charles Henry wasn't very wide open on his knee at the end of the end zone, and Kozar just sort of floated it in for another Miami touchdown. It is 30 to nothing. Tight end. Cox on for the point after, knocks it through, and with 12 seconds to go in the first half, it is Miami 31, Maryland nothing. In turn, gives Miami another touchdown, and they'll try another squib kick. Will have the football inside their own 35 yard line. Does with the six seconds. Gelba tries to pull out. Just took off at the same time. Four seconds left. Maryland with three wide receivers to the near side. And Gelba will try to crank it up and let it rip. Ooh. He threw it a long way and it was almost caught. <laughs> Farrell Edmonds and as is it an Abdul Rauf down there in the same area, they couldn't get it. A smiling Bernie Kozar goes off the field. He's got a lot to smile about. Maryland, as uh, we have told you, been able to do absolutely nothing. And here's an onside kick try. Loose football. I sort of had a feeling the Terps might go for that, but and they have not punted. Kozar gives it up the middle of Highsmith. Highsmith will get a couple Bruce Mesters. 
Second down and eight. Kozar back to throw. Four man rush. Plenty of time. Sidearms it again. Fawcett may have had a hand on it. Maryland now showing a five man front. And Wilson edging up there like he wants to come on a blitz. And he does straight up the middle. And Kozar still got it out to Highsmith. What a play by Bernie Kozar. No. First and 10, Miami. Maryland 48 yard line. Kozar intercepted by Shankweiler. Shankweiler. Back to midfield and cut down by Bratton. And they need to get their offense going. Frank Reich is in at quarterback. He'll pitch it to Blount. Blount to the Miami 42-yard line. Second down and in inches for Maryland. Frank Reich, the graduate student, in at quarterback to Badonic. Badonic with a first down inside the 40 to the 39. Both wide receivers go to the top of the screen. Reich on first down. Under some pressure, guns it over the middle to Hill. Hill with a nice move at the 20, might go all the way. 10, five, touchdown, Maryland. And just like that, Frank Wright comes in, hits Hill, made a great move, and Hill is now the all-time leading yardage receiver out of Wright's hold. And Atkinson puts it through. Maryland on the board with 12.35 to go third quarter. But it's still Miami on top, 31 to seven. But even in this game, uh, averaging 20 points a ball game. But they've been up around 35. This is J.C. Penny from two yards deep in the end zone. Trying to get to the outside and he won't make it. Dragged down at the 13 yard line. They're in the eye behind Kozar starting from the 13 yard line. Oliver gets two. Second down and eight yards to go. And Kozar to throw. Over the middle, complete. Full house backfield, three tight ends in the ballgame. Maryland with a seven-man front. Kozar will give it off to Bratton, and Bratton is knocked down after two. They do not. Pretty good kick. Drives Covington back to the 35-yard line. Fleming on coverage. The big linebacker. First and 10. Merrill right at quarterback. Out of the eye. Play action. Throws on a run. Complete to Hill. Out of bounds. Opening moments. Third quarter. This is Blount. Got about eight yards. But Donick only has 16 on 10 carries. That's Holder in motion. Two wide receivers to the wide side of the field. Reich with plenty of time throwing deep. And it's tipped away by Tolbert. Reich is getting time to throw. Now it's third and two. Badonic and Blount in the eye. Reich turns and says something to Blount. And he'll give it to him. Blount cutting over the right side. First down inside the 35. Nine minutes to go third quarter. Maryland on the move again. Trying to get back in this ball game. They're down by 24. Yes. Look out for the reverse. And it's Hill. Got some room. Wright tried to throw him a block, and it didn't work. And Hill loses his helmet and yard. Second and 12. Frank Wright back to throw. Three-man rush. Hesitates, throws, and too high. This has got to be a two-down situation for Maryland. They've got to go for it. Wright against the blitz. Throws complete to Hill. Hill to the one-yard line. Tolbert Bain made the tackle. Reich was also ranked this week number 11 in the country. Badonic trying to get in. Kevin Walker, number 44, is in at a wingback. He is the man in motion. Reverses direction three times. Reich, quarterback keeper, touchdown, Maryland. Touchdown, Maryland. And now coming up from the secondary, Daryl Fullington to bump into Frank Reich, and the flags go down. And uh, so this does ball, have some meaning. Personal foul against the defense after the touchdown. It'll be assessed on the kickoff. Atkinson with a point after, and he puts it through. And Maryland working its way back into this ball game with 6.53 to go in the third. They'll try the same play, just pop it up, and the fair catch signal for it. The football. Loose ball and the flag goes down. And they're going to walk it off against Maryland, and Miami will have the football. And I want to hear this call. Yeah, fair catch interference against the kicking team on the kickoff. 15 yard penalty. We'll play it first down from here. We'll bring out his offense to the Miami 38 yard line. 
The Terps have shut him down a couple of times. Let's see what they can do here. Kozar under pressure throws the screen, complete to Bratton. Bratton gets away from a couple of tackles. Got a lot of room out there. He may go. Keita Covington will have to catch him. And he does, but not before he gets to the eight-yard line. 53 yards on the screen pass. First and goal, Miami at the Maryland eight-yard line. Oliver. Front, second and goal. The ball marked at the six. Bratton, the lone remaining running back behind Bernie Kozar. And Bratton will have it near the two. Third down and goal from the two. And Kozar to throw. Floats it, his receiver fell down. Look out for a fake here. This is a good spot for a fake. Line drive kick that got through, and Miami has put three more on the board, but in effect, Maryland really dodged a bullet. Caught passes for 157 today. Kickoff, and Covington from the 15-yard line, hit at the 20, struggling forward, gets to about the 21. One other big play in that drive was a 15-yard penalty, but I still haven't figured out. Frank Wright is set. Lost to four on that play, so it's second and 14. Maryland virtually needs the score with every possession. They'll give it to Neal. Neal back across the 20. Maryland big play here from their own 20, and Wright straight back to throw. Dumps it off to Holder. Holder looking for a block, and he's got the first down. Half for the Turtles. Three minutes, 15 seconds and counting, first half. They'll give it to Neal on a little trap off the right side. Neal runs into trouble at the 38-yard line. Second and four for Maryland. That's Holder in motion. They'll give it to Neal. Neal driving forward, has another first down as he reaches his own 44. Crowd getting a little uh, testy. Watching Maryland uh, run this well. Right throws, complete. This one to Abdul Rauf inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. First and 10, Terrapins to the 38-yard line. Right to throw again, that quick sideline pass complete to Hill. Hill to the 30 to the 29-yard line. Right dumps it out to Badonik. First down, Badonik still on his feet. To the 10 to the five yard line. At once, Maryland is dominating the football game. Rodgers in motion. They'll give to Badonic. Badonic straight up the middle of the Badonic. one yard line. Maryland has dominated the third quarter. Badonic didn't make it. Rodgers in motion. And that's exactly what they want to do. The pass touchdown. He hit Alvin Blount, and Maryland is on the board again. Here come the Terps. Hold on to your hats. We, we had to wait a half for this, but made a ball game out of it. Atkinson with the kick. It's good. And it's 34-21. The only question, Kevin, did Maryland spot him too many points before they adjusted their offense? Ten Maryland to kick off. The ball will bounce in the middle of the end zone. Maryland showing a four-man front. Kozar will give it off to Oliver, and Oliver dragged down by a plus set. And at the end of three periods, the score is 34 to 21. We'll be back at the Orange Bowl for the fourth period after this word from our local ACC station. Kozar back to throw. Maryland on the blitz, and they want to throw a screen, but the Terps may have it diagnosed, and Oliver is buried. And it was Steve Kelly, the third down, 12 yards to go Miami. This is a big play here. If Maryland can hold and get the ball back in decent field position. Richie Pettibone, number 54, faking the blitz and then drops back. Four-man rush. Kozar hit, and he's down. And give the credit to number 77, Dave Amen. Tootin will get it off and floats it high and long. And Covington driven all the way back to the 36-yard line. Got some room if he can break a tackle, but he doesn't. Gets out to the 46. They have really moved the football behind Frank Reich, the graduate student who came off the bench to fire him up in the third period. But Donick will only get a yard this time. Plenty of time, dumps it off, and it's to Blount. Blount into Miami territory at the 47 yard going to say it's a big play for Maryland, but every play right now is a big play for Maryland. But Donick, first down. 
Hamilton. He's the guy that gets it. First down, Maryland at the Miami 44. Reich falls down, but gets it to Badonik, and Badonik gets near the 36-yard line. He had a factor. 11 minutes to go. Maryland on second and two from the Miami 36. They need to keep it going, and Frank Reich wants to go for all of it, and tipped away. Third and two at the Miami 36. And it's Neal. He had the first down and then backed up. Critical play, trailing by 13 points. Maryland needs the first down. Rodgers in motion. Badonic, first down to the Miami 32. Badonic now 36 yards. It's taken him 17 carries. First down, Frank Reich wants to throw, has a man open, that's Farrell Edmonds, the big tight end. And Farrell Edmonds to the 14-yard line. We're under nine and a half minutes to go. Reich to Neal, nice kick out blocked by Badonic, and Neal with room to run. Touchdown. Holy cow, here come the Terps. And Miami's going to have to buckle down that chin strap one more notch. Point after. It's good. 9.20 to go in the ball game. Maryland from down 31 nothing has come back to within six points at 34 to 28. Atkinson to kick it away. Maryland down by six with 9.20 to go. They were down 31 nothing at the half and they appeared like they were dead. And once again, Miami says, I don't think you're going to kick it deep. And, but the Hurricanes better unlimber the offense now because Maryland is out for them. Gain of eight yards from Melvin Bratton. Second down, two yards to go from Miami. The Hurricanes would like to take some time off the clock. Bratton again, he'll have the first down. It's first down Miami with 8.18 to go. They have the ball at their own 34-yard line. Kozar calling signals. Highsmith has not been in the ball game. He has an injury. Once again, Bratton gets across the 40. He's already beaten that in one game. Gain of seven on that, so it's second and three for Miami. Kozar will give it off to Williams. Williams wrapped up, but he dives forward. First and ten now from their own 45. If Maryland's going to stop them from scoring, they need to do it in a hurry. And Fawcett came through and drilled. Second and just about ten, and Kozar back to throw. Four-man rush. Floats at sideline. Just threw that one away and in the first half. Kozar on third and long, back to throw. Big play here, floats it, and it's broken up. Great play. Five yards a kick on his two previous kicks, this time off the side of his foot. And it will still kick inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. But and right now, it's up to Frank Reich to pull it out of the fire. And he'll throw on first down. Sideline complete to Holder and a first down at the 31. A first down Maryland at the 32. Right to throw again off of play action. Throwing deep and he's got a man out there. Hill! Greg Hill on the tip and it's a touchdown! his hands is the result. Miami is stunned, and Atkinson puts the Terps ahead. 35-34 with 5.29 left to go in the ball game. This is absolutely stunning to be here and watch it happen. Credit Hill for keeping the concentration. And Atkinson now kicks off. J.C. Penny at the four, fumble. It's still loose, and Maryland has the football at the six-yard line. Do you believe this? It was 31-0. Now it's 35-34 Maryland, and the Terps have it at the six. This is Blount. He'll get to the four. It's incredible. The give to Badonic off the left side to the one. Touchdown by Maryland. All of those weapons, all of those weapons that Maryland had that they didn't use, all the guns that didn't go off in the first half. It's been rapid fire here for two quarters. And you're watching the biggest victory of the year as Atkinson with a big, big extra point converts 
It was, we can't repeat this enough, it was 31-0 Miami. And now it's 42-34 Maryland. Here. Maryland could be six and three. Oliver, one yard deep. 15, 20 and out of bounds around the 21. For my money, you are looking at the finest quarterback in the country, Bernie Kosar. Even though he is only a sophomore, he is just a brilliant passer. Floats this one for a man that's open, and what a hit by Donald Brown. Brown leveled Eddie Brown. You could get injured, you should ahead. Brown, the transfer from Oklahoma, makes the big play. Second down, Kozar over the middle, complete to Eddie Brown this time. Joe Kraus brings him down. This was a Vanderbilt game. Kozar back to throw on third and three, throws in the flat, complete. It'll be a first down to his tight end, Willie Smith. Maryland, 42, Miami, 34. Kozar, nice pass to Smith, knocked out of bounds by Al Covington. First down, 10 yards to go. Miami and Maryland territory at the 47. 339 left to go in what has been an incredible ball game. Kozar with that great arm, and it's complete. What a catch. What a catch by Melvin Bratton, and now they say it's incomplete, which would have been 40-yard catches, and he broke them all up. Second and 10, Kozar, straight four-man rush. Sideline this time, and Eddie Brown is open. He dropped it. Eddie Brown open at the 10. It's third and 10 for Miami. Three-man rush. Floats it to the sideline, and incomplete. Fourth and 10 from the Maryland 47. 319 left. Stay with him. Stay with him. Kozar short to Oliver. And with second effort, he got the first down. Kozar to throw. Over the middle, intercepted. Picked off by Richie Pettibone, and Kozar hit him right between the five and the four on his jersey. This has been one of the most stunning comebacks I think you could ever hope to see in a college football game. The Terps will keep it on the ground. Both teams have all three timeouts remaining. Maryland on second and six from their own 37-yard line. And they'll give it to Blount, trying to get outside. Miami closes in a hurry. Third down, five to go for the Terps. Wright to throw, and he falls. Frank Wright slips and falls. Me back at the 33, right on a bad snap. And it's blocked. Picked up by Miami and the Hurricanes. Victor Morris, the middle guard. Holy cow. Kyle Vanderwen. No touchdown. The punt. It's not a touchdown. They can't run it in. It was whiffed. It was Kozar with a first down at the Maryland 19. You can hear a pin drop in here right now. Throws to Bratton. Bratton at the 14-yard line of the second half. Kozar straight back. Bratton again in the flat to the 10. A flag is down in the secondary. Or the signal, as the case may be. They were leading 31 to nothing. Well, the amazing thing is that Maryland came back for the second half after being down 31 to nothing. And boy, did they ever. The pass for Brown, touchdown. Eddie Brown from Bernie Kozar. Interesting here to look. There's a minute to go. 42-40. The two-point conversion would tie. You wouldn't want to bet Kozar will throw it, would you? To Bratton. And the tackle by Keita Covington. Keita Covington sitting back there, slicking his chop, saying, go ahead and throw that one. I'm waiting on you this time. Not too many linemen up there on the 50-yard line for Maryland. Seelig. No pretense, he's standing three yards away from the football. They shift nine players to the left side and they top it and it's picked off. Joe Krause, Krause has got a chance to go all the way. <laughs> Poor Joe. Holy cow, what a play. Krause down within an inch of the goal line. But Donegan Neal, Frank Reich, quarterback keeper, gets near the goal line. But Miami has one timeout left. They have not tried to call it. 
and Reich will not even try for the touchdown. He just kneels. He's just pulverizing somebody. Well, it's a lesson in life that I think the Miami team has learned. And that is going to be the last play of the ball game. Maryland, with 42 points in the second half, has won a stunning victory here in the Orange Bowl.